Alright people, welcome to this week's gaming news. Today we'll be looking at Epic Games Meta Human Creation Tool in Unreal Engine, Tencent acquires monetary stake in Bohemia Interactive, a dead and controversial shooter game gets brought back to life and more. Epic Games creation tool called MetaHuman makes creating digital humans easier where it can be done in mere minutes. MetaHuman is a new browser-based app that enables game developers or even someone who's not skilled at game development create digital humans much easier. MetaHuman runs from the class via Epic's Unreal Engine using Unreal Engine Pixel Streaming. This tool uses 3D facial capture AI programming which will significantly cut down development time required for creating many digital characters from months and weeks to hours. CD Projekt Red, the developers of Cyberpunk 2077 were the victims of a cyber attack. The source code for The Witcher 3, Gwent, Cyberpunk 2077 and an unreleased version of The Witcher 3 were hacked and stolen. Not only that, but documentations of the company relating to accounting, administration, legal, HR, investor relations were also stolen. Their servers have also been encrypted, leaving them to recover their data from backups. CD Projekt Red said that they wouldn't pay any ransom. All the files and data have been sold in an online auction on the dark web. Many, if not all, of the developers and workers at CD Projekt Red are at risk of their identities being stolen. These files might also contain customer data and millions of users could have the privacy compromised. The official Prince of Persia Twitter account gave an update that the game's release will be pushed back to a later, unspecified date. Here's what it says on the official Prince of Persia Twitter account. Seeing the reaction of players made Ubisoft and the development team spend more time developing and polishing the game. This is actually good news as in my other video, I pointed out that the game still looked rough and couldn't even compete graphically to games that released 5-6 to six years ago. Tencent, the Chinese multinational technology conglomerate has stakes in most of your favorite game publishers and developers. Here are some companies that Tencent has stakes in. Riot Games, the makers of Valorant, Epic Games, the makers of Fortnite, Ubisoft, the makers of Ghost Recon, Rainbow Six, PUBG's creator Bluehole, and Activision, just to name a few. Tencent bought a piece of Arma and Daisy developer Bohemia Interactive. Bohemia Interactive announced in a press release that the renewed investment will not affect its ability to operate independently, nor will there be a change in seats in the management team. They stress that they will continue to operate independently, this purchase does give Bohemia Interactive more resources for game development and marketing. Next up, Ubisoft revealed that it may be renaming Rainbow Six Quarantine. During Ubisoft's third quarter's earning call, CEO Yves Guillemot said, On Rainbow Six Quarantine, we are creating a product that is actually as its name today. It is something we are evaluating and we'll see what comes in the future on that product. Ubisoft clarified that Rainbow Six Quarantine will release before September 30th, 2021. During the earnings call, it was also said that Ubisoft will be planning to move away from AAA games and will be looking more into free-to-play games as they don't want to focus heavily on AAA games as their business model. Next up, we'll be looking at some upcoming games. A first-person game with an alternate history in 1960. World War II hasn't ended and Nazi Germany is about to lose the war, until it fired off its nuclear arsenal on the advancing Soviet army, turning most if not all of Europe into a nuclear wasteland with a punishing nuclear winter. Set in 1980, you play as a boy who finds an abandoned German bunker. The Nazis had already prepared for such a scenario. They created several fortified bunkers where they could wait out the nuclear winter, re-emerge and claim victory. However, something went wrong in a bunker near Krakow, Poland. This is where, 20 years later, you, a 12-year-old boy having suffered personal tragedy, seek to find answers through the vast underground passages and chambers. For those who have survived, 
they find the strength to persevere and prove that life can overcome death, even in a barren radioactive desert. We do not know what tomorrow may bring, but we must believe that there is still a hope for humanity. We promise that we would be here for you until the very end, serving truth and our ideas. May the Lord watch over us all. Next up, we have Black Myth Wukong. Black Myth Wukong is an upcoming single-player action role-playing game by Chinese indie developer Game Science Interactive Technology. Black Myth Wukong is based on the classical 16th century Chinese novel Journey to the West. The gameplay has been described as source-like. The player controls Sun Wukong, also known as Monkey King to fight through an assortment of enemies with abilities to transform into flying insects or giant monsters. Back in August 2020, the developer uploaded a 13-minute pre-alpha purely gameplay video, warring gamers everywhere and within one day the video had nearly 2 million views on YouTube and 10 million views on Bilibili. Black Myth Wukong is just the first Black Myth game from a universe of Black Myth games. The game has been in development for two years and the development team is planning to release the game somewhere around late 2023. Game Science plans for a 15 hour story with 100 enemy types in the final game including bosses. Black Myth Wukong is aiming for a great take on Journey to the West, it'll feature a complex a darker version of the tale of Sun Wukong Monkey King, who is tasked with escorting a monk with a sacred scroll. The development team say that they plan on going quiet for a long time to work on the game and won't be showing any more gameplay until they are truly sure that what they'll show next time will be better than the first trailer. What you're watching right now is a horror FPS game called Project Ill. It is being developed by Cloud Games, Project L will be using Unreal Engine 4. It promises to have some of the best and realistic physics based dismemberment and gore effects. Project L will have immersive visuals and thrilling designs. The team that is developing Project L aims to implement advanced physics. Players can expect interactive environments, active ragdoll, dismemberment and real-time body transformation. The game is currently not in full development and has no release date announced. However, the development team are working on a demo for players who back them on Patreon to get their hands on. There is a new upcoming game that blew up on Reddit a couple of days ago. Now it's gaining traction here on YouTube as well. And you probably would not believe me, but this game is made by one person. Felix Shade. This game is called Morbid Metal. Morbid Metal is a third person sci fi action roguelite where you can shape shift into unique characters to unleash powerful combos. The footage that you're seeing right now is footage in its early development stage. This game is a mix of melee and ranged combat, similar to games like Destiny and Warframe. Although the game is still in its early development stage, the graphics look stunning and just listen to the sound. The aesthetic of the game is heavily inspired by a dark Japanese sci-fi art direction. Games that inspired Morbid Metal are Devil May Cry, Warframe, Near Automata, Risk of Rain, and Metal Gear Rising. While the game is heavily driven by gameplay, the developer aims to create lore and a basic narrative to flesh out the game in the future. However, the game is set in the far future where humankind has been extinct and AI has taken human beings place. Mortality and organic life is still interconnected with the machines of the game.
I will cover the game again when there's more info. Before we go on to the final news of the week, well not final news but final upcoming game, I want to thank you all for watching and subscribing to the channel. If you're not already subbed to the channel, go on ahead and click the subscribe button and click on the bell icon so you don't miss any uploads from this channel. With that being said, let's get on to the final upcoming game of the week. Six days in Fallujah, the previously cancelled tactical military shooter based on real-world events, now in development by former Bungie employees, the developers of Halo and Destiny. Six Days in Fallujah is an upcoming first-person shooter game developed by High Wire Games and published by Victura. Described by High Wire Games as a tactical shooter, it was slated to be the first video game to focus directly on the Iraq War. Originally announced back in 2009 and was slated for a 2010 release on the PC, the PS3, and Xbox 360, but it was cancelled due to controversy surrounding the game. The premise of the game was the subject of controversy in 2009, as it was based upon recent true events at the time. It was originally to be published by Konami. However, in April of 2009, a spokesman informed the Associated Press that Konami was no longer publishing the game due to the controversy surrounding it. The game was put on hold until 2016 after its original studio, Atomic Games, went bankrupt in 2011. Six Days in Fallujah is a first-person tactical military shooter that recreates true stories of Marines, soldiers, and Iraqi civilians who fought Al-Qaeda. Players lead a fire team through real-life encounters enabled by unique technology that simulates the uncertainty and tactics of urban combat. The game's plot followed a squad of US Marines from 3rd Battalion, fighting the Second Battle of Fallujah over the span of six days in November of 2004. Six Days in Fallujah launches for PC and console platforms in late 2021. Alright people, that wraps up this week's gaming news and upcoming games. Thank you so much for tuning in, watching and listening and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.